If you want to pump your body and expand your mind, there's only one place to go. Mind Pump. Mind Pump. With your hosts, Sal Stefano, Adam Schaefer, and Justin Andrews. In this episode of Mind Pump. Ooh, yeah. For the first 45 minutes, we do our introductory conversation. We talk about Emily Abbott from CrossFit and her band. For performance enhancing drugs. That's right. But he, the crazy thing is how she got them. The way she administered yeah. the drugs, not the normal way. No, not at not all. Not the normal way. Be careful. We, Swapping fluids. We talk about my Napa trip. Had a good time up in Napa. Uh, went to a castle, uh, drank some wine, and now I'm ready for this contest. You're all fucked. <laughs> You're so scared. Uh, we talk about my mud bath. We t- Oh, Justin gives us his carnivore diet update. Yeah. Is he going to be able to hold out? Is he going to be able to keep up with the psychological warfare that's being conducted on him? Or is he fucked? By Adam and Sal. <laughs> <Or is> he- <laughs> hey, life's good with a belly full of meat. Yeah, we talked about Adam's move. He might be moving pretty soon. Maybe close to Sal. Then we talked about my hangover hack, which includes uh, activated charcoal and Organifi green juice. Believe it or not, actually prevented a hangover. We are sponsored by Organifi. If you go to Organifi For Shop. For all you party people. OrganifiShop.com. Enter the code Mind Pump. You get 20% off any Organifi product, including their protein, their gold juice, their green juice, and their pre-workout red juice. Uh, we also talked about Health IQ and how we're working with them. Again, now Health IQ provides life insurance for fit and healthy people. If you go to HealthIQ.com forward slash Mind Pump, you'll get a free quote just for you. Then we talked about Justin's Treehouse project. He's trying to win that first place in the dad contest. Good yeah. job. Good job, Justin. Number one. Then we talked about mice with human brains. Oh, splinter. <laughs> <laughs> Is that missing Mickey Mouse? Little human mices. Uh, then we talked about a new show on Prime called Dear Zachary and Dark Tourists on Netflix. Two shows that uh, the boys are recommending. Yeah. Then we get into the questions. The first question was, uh, this one was specifically for Adam. Uh, how do you stop or reverse balding? Is it possible? What are some of the techniques that we've used? Actually, uh, there is something that he has used He has used that seems to benefit him. Um, it's the Juve Light. Uh, we, are, we do work with them. If you go to juve.com, J-O-O-V-V.com forward slash mind pump, you will get a discount on one of their... Uh, light products. The next question was, what is our stance on fat burners uh, if, when you combine them with proper diet and uh, exercise? Well, we typically don't like them, but we talk Irrelevant. about why. Yeah, why don't we like them in that part of this episode? I want to also mention, we did mention Saul Palmetto for hair loss. You can find Saul Palmetto at Thrive Market. If you go to thrivemarket.com forward slash mind pump, we've hooked you up with a free month membership, $20 off your first three orders of $49 or more. And free shipping. The next question was, this person is a personal trainer. And, you know, they spend an hour a day with their clients. Where's the line between being professional and creating a real friendship? Is it unprofessional to become friends with your clients? Uh, You might be surprised the answer Mm. in that part of this episode. And finally, the last question, a very important one. I want to mention, make sure everybody knows Justin picked this one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care, man. The audience appreciates it. They do. All what 12 of them. What is our yeah. favorite mythical que- creature and why? Find out why Adam likes mermen. Yes. <laughs> He's always wanted to be one. Uh, also, this month, Maps Anabolic, half off. 50% off the total price, and you get access to... For life to the program. So the program now costs you under $60. We also offer bundles. This is where we combine multiple MAPS programs, put them together, and discount them for specific goals. For example, our MAPS Super Bundle is an entire year of exercise programming all planned out for you. You can find that bundle, all of our other bundles, and the 50% off MAPS Anabolic, which, by the way, will be ending soon. Remember, it's only for the month of July at mindpumpmedia.com. T-shirt time! And it's T-shirt time. Give away them shirts, Doug. 21 Ooh, yeah. reviews, six shirts going out. Oh, that's good. Our winners are Bruna, Josh Motri, Dane Rangel, T1734, French Dog, and 
Corn Man Poo. All of you. <laughs> yeah. Our winners. Send the name I just read to iTunes at mindpumpmedia.com. Send your shirt size, your shipping address, and we'll get that right out to you. Oh my God, last place again. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, Justin. Come hey, on. I can't just, hear myself. Hey, hey, just get used to that last place thing, dude. Uh, just get just, yeah. <laughs> just fuck you guys. Just get comfortable right I there. I can't hear anything, Doug. What happened? <laughs> you got to turn it on. No? Did you turn the dial? Last yeah. place, Andrews. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that does not have a ring to it at all. He's like, I've never heard that before. <laughs> Ever. Are you putting it in the right hole, Justin? I am. Dude. Are you sure? I swear. I feel like you're not. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> that one was out. Is, Wrong your computer, hole. is your computer turned on? <laughs> hey, I was the dying. On. His Insta I was story? Dying yesterday watching Justin's Insta so story. So good. <laughs> you, you didn't even remember what that was from, dude. I, I didn't need to. He's I blocked, just saw, he blocked it out. That's why. I yeah. just saw all the Sylvester Stallone and the fuck. <laughs> I need you to appreciate that. There's like, yeah, that's me. Yeah. I was watching that with Jessica, <laughs> totally. and we were fucking dying. I'm uh, like, this asshole. That's good. <laughs> yeah, oh, good. I was God, fucking, was fucking so with you a little bit. It, it was, was so good. You know yeah. what's funny is I can't. I've been waiting for Taylor to come in, so because Taylor doesn't listen to the fucking show, so yeah. he won't get the joke. Like, yeah. He has no idea how good that story is. That's only for the fans. It Sorry, like, yeah. I'm just gonna keep doing that. For, right. So if you're a listener, if you know, you'll right. enjoy it. Right. Maybe we should. If have you're our just fans. a looky loo, then it fucking doesn't yeah. make sense to you. Maybe right? we should send our fans a DM yeah, Taylor you. to listen to the show. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> just bombard him with yeah. fucking. Yeah. 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 yeah, go on to his other one. Was it? Was he called himself Tay? Tay Vel- No, yeah. you're not gonna yeah. actually Tay do it. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Hey yo, I'm Tay. I'm gonna because you know. But you can't tell him. No, can't tell him that we sent you. You know the best part. Part is we've given him like what I don't know six different uh, nicknames now. Yeah. He calls himself Tay. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> Nobody calls you that. Yeah, you fucking called yourself that. Can't give yourself a nickname. Okay. Can't do that. But listen, if okay. you if you DM him, don't tell him you heard on Mind Pump. Just be like, hey, is this Taylor from Mind Pump? Yeah, because like, we're not. Why don't you listen that. to the show? Yeah. yeah, give him shit. Okay, so here's yeah, his go on that. Here, here's his uh, uh, undercover. Uh, Instagram. Well, it's not going to be so undercover after this. So oh, it's this is so good. It's Tay Valens. So it's T A. It's all one word. T A Y V A L E N Z. So if you guys want, you guys can go. With that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yo, this is Tay. Yeah, it's Tay. Yeah. It's Tay Tay. Say what it's Tay Tay. It's up to Tay Tay. So perfect. <laughs> so perfect. Uh, Listen to our show, man. Dude, dude yeah. did you guys? Oh, I want to talk about this. Did you guys hear about? Okay, who's the girl that got? Kicked Emily. out of CrossFit. Emily. What's her last name? Emily Red or something like that. Oh, Get her name real quick. Oh, my God. This is good. Yes. Did you hear her excuse? Yes. <laughs> the, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Like her boyfriend like from kissing him? Apparently, her boyfriend- Emily Abbott. Abbott. Her boyfriend- And she's a big-time competitor, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very, Apparently, very her, her boyfriend took whatever <clears throat> substance she got caught with, and then she would make out with him afterwards, and- <clears throat> Because she kissed him and it was in his mouth yeah. from an hour ago, it got in her bloodstream, yeah. and she tested. Yeah, positive. watch out! You might get pregnant from the toilet seat. Yeah, yeah. You know? And she got and <laughs> yeah. she tested. That has got to be. You know what happened? She's freaking out. She's like, "I got four years suspended." Right. And her boyfriend's like, "I'll take the heat." Like, Here's babe, listen. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'll totally take the heat for you, babe. You know, because you're the fucking money Just ticket. Tell him I was like, you know, yeah. did you? Did you? She's like, it? I gave him head and swallowed, so I must have gotten his. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, right? I mean, can you that would really... actually make more sense? That's the you know more Who exchange cares? of fluids. Just own it. You got caught, dude. You got caught, dude. Yeah, right. So... You ain't cheating. You ain't trying. You know what I'm saying? You tried. Yeah. You got caught. <laughs> you lost. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? God, but man, the... four years they ain't fucking around. Yeah. No, yeah, that's a it's... you're you're basically ruined. Yeah, I respect that though. Yeah, you know? four years is you're done. Yeah. Yeah. And I know what they did. What they did this time is they should be a lifetime ban. What do you think? I think it should just be a life. Like if you're either if you're gonna play like or we need to open up cross. Well, as they start losing money, they're gonna change that real yeah. quick. I know. Because think about it. Somebody like her who probably has a pretty large following. Uh, people go to watch the events, want to see her compete for four years. She's done. She's out of it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They could lose a lot of money. Look what happened with baseball when they started getting crazy <clears throat> with the testing. No, I know. I know. Yeah. It absolutely could. I, yeah, I wonder. How, well, of course it is. You know, I was going to say how how advantageous is it to be taking steroids and being CrossFit, but oh my god, the recovery side of it, big I know. time. Because you know, because you wouldn't want to put too much weight on. Like you wouldn't be taking like fucking D ball and shit. You're not going to take something that's going to make you jacked. Right? No, 
No. Yeah, like what would be the preferential? Right. You yeah, you're going to run things like EQ and your like basic test and stuff like that. Something that's going to help speed up recovery and give you like the advantage mm-hmm. with hormone like testosterone, but I don't see people taking like crazy amounts of of drugs to or at least not steroids. No. Like, yeah, you for recovery. Because you got to do a lot of body weight. You got to do a lot of handstands, yeah. handstand stuff. And I know that, like, when I'm big and bulky, even if I'm lean, like, it's it's harder to do those things. You know, yeah. it's harder to do pull ups. It's harder to do handstands. It's harder to do shit like yeah, that. Yeah, there. Here's a, you can use them in ways that are going to benefit any physical endeavor. So no, they're not going to use these water retention. You know. Type anabolic steroids right. or whatever. What did, did it say what she got caught with? Did you, did it say? I was trying to look it up. I forgot what it was, but it was a. I believe it was a peptide or a SARM. I think oh. it might have been a SARM or a peptide or something like that. Mm. Yeah, because and that's the other thing too. Some of these guys were getting busted for taking a SARM. Really, just take a steroid. Yeah, yeah. they I can st- detect that. Said, so- well, I still get that in my inbox all the time. People, oh, I'm thinking about taking this SARM. Why? Mm. Yeah. I want to look her up right now on Instagram and see what she looks like. <clears throat> see if I could guess that she's on something. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, she doesn't. I mean, she's not crazy jacked or anything like that. Really? Yeah, you know. I mean, she. She's not the. Yeah, I can't find her. Anyway, we'll go to their page. Her. Oh, there's they, well. They, they have, she's pretty jacked, dude. Oh, okay. That's a good picture. She's of pretty. Just, yeah, she's pretty jacked girl. Mm. Well, I don't know, man. Four years. That's basically you're done, right? I mean, that's a long... That's unless really you're, like, long. Unless I mean, you're 22. CrossFit's not right? going to tw- exist in four years, so there you go. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Oh, God. Here, oh, wow. We just got the soccer heat. Now you're going to get the CrossFit heat. Hey, I've had CrossFit heat forever, dude. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. Dang, that's crazy. Yeah. Hey, how was you guys' this weekend? It was good, but not as good as yours. Oh, a lot so of, good. A lot of wine. call you Mr. Mudbath. <laughs> yeah, a little like wine that. tasting well, we and there. bread. You well, bread so we, eater. Nah, dude, the, the bread was in the picture. Uh, not in my mouth. Uh, we we planned this a while ago. It was my mom's 60th birthday, and she wanted to do a tour of... There's a castle up there, um, and I can't remember the name of it. It's in um, Calistoga. Gorgeous. This fucking $48 million castle on Damn. this vineyard. That took the guy 15 years to build, which is insane. I mean, I'm walking around I'm like, God damn. Yeah, that's crazy. He's got this much money? Oh, there it is. Castello di Amarosa. Oh, damn. Yeah, dude. It's like a $48 million. That's how much it cost him was to that, build it. Was that modeled off of like a real castle somewhere? Well, he put things in there from castles and stuff in Italy. God, I want to build a castle. And, oh, dude, it was insane. That's crazy. So man. we were in there taking this tour, and there was a, like, he had a dungeon in there of with actual torture devices that were from like five or 600 years ago were things that were actually used. So they had an Iron Maiden in there. Wow. Have you ever seen an Iron Maiden up close? That's the, the, the uh, head Maiden. beheading Maiden. thing, right? Maiden. That's, the, that's the beheading one. No, no that's, that's a guillotine. The, 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 uh, What's the spikes iron, where you, iron where you Maiden, like close somebody inside. It's right? like an iron, uh, it's like this big iron closet looking thing with yeah. this face on it. it and you stand in front of it right? and there's these long spikes and then they close it and the spikes go inside of you, oh, but the spikes are designed to not hit your vital organs, and they're not designed to go all the way through you, so you just, it just fucking- Oh my God, so just, you're like alive still? But it's even worse. <laughs> oh my God. just God. like squeezes and pokes Dude, you. Dude, the guy giving us a tour is talking oh, about all these torture up. devices, and I'm just realizing how fucking terrible humans, like the things that we're capable of, there it is. That's what it looks like. Oh my god! So oh, it's, it's a full body. So it's, it's a not full just body a, thing. Yeah. So they close you in that thing. And it's literally designed to not hit- Vital organs. Or, so, yeah. So it, you like just bleed out slowly. It's supposed to really hurt you but not kill you. So then you go in there, they close it on you, and then sometimes what they'll do is they'll open the top of it because there's like a face thing on the top. They'll open that and they'll throw rats or oh, other vermin in there to eat to, at to you. Eat. And and it came complete with a, a, a space underneath for them to put to hot coals them. and fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, wow. that's convenient. Why? Yeah. Why? <laughs> That's insane. That's some fucked up shit. Then they had the rack. Do you guys know what the rack is? No. Yeah. So it's this table that you they strap your they, arms to. And they stretch and you. Strap, and they just fucking crank they it. crank the- Pull your uh, shit apart. Yes. Yeah, so, there it is right there. So that's the rack. And then they also have the horse uh, drawn- Oh, where they draw and quarter you? Quarter you. Yeah. So the, the horses run in opposite directions <laughs> and rip you. your fucking limbs off. <laughs> that's <fucked laughs> so up. horrible. So on the rack, on the actual table part, there were these rollers with spikes in it. And the guy's like, yeah, they would use these if the person didn't want to confess. I'm like, well, fuck, of course they're going to confess. Dude. Everybody's going to confess on this thing. 
But anyway, and, we're compl- and we need cry closets. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. like, like, what the hell? Like, we went a long way. Yeah, and, and you got internet yeah. in jail now. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's yeah. crazy. It's right so you insane. You said a mean, a mean word. Yeah, it's so, so crazy. Was it, did you do like a tour of the place? Is that what? A tour of the whole place. Uh, you don't then, stay there, right? You don't actually stay in the place. It's not like a place. No, 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 no. We, did a, we got a private tour. Now, so does we, anybody live there still? There's a house on the vineyard that belongs to the owner, but we don't go through the house. The castle, mm. they don't live in. God, how do you have a forty million dollar castle and not, not living in it? it. Bro, it's probably cold. This guy, too. this guy's got an insane amount of yeah. obviously an insane. Well, Hurst, Hurst did he build this castle like yeah. that? Kind of just crazy. I just I can't believe vineyards make this much money, but they do. They make an insane because when they give you a tour and they show you the process of making wine, yeah, there's so much science and insanity that's involved. Most most like. Most people that start vineyard or have vineyards that make Already a lot had of money, money had money before. I know. There's an old saying in in, have to, in, yeah. in in wine in wine world, right? It's uh, if you if you want to make a million dollars selling wine, start like with a 10 million. million. Yes, no, start with like a hundred million like or hundred million. Yeah, yeah that's what it is. Something like that. Anyway, yeah. so but it was not, gorgeous, and they gave us a full tour of the whole place. And at the end, then they you know we did the wine tasting, which. Wine, I'm not I'm not a big alcohol drinker, so I don't really know the difference. But I'll tell you what, once you start to get drunk, they all taste pretty good. <laughs> I started getting a buzz. I'm like, oh, I like this one too, you know? Yeah. End up buying a bottle or whatever. But we also did, the day before, Jessica went there, uh, Jessica and I went there early, and we did just on our own in Napa, and we did the mud bath, dude. Have you guys ever done a mud bath? No, I haven't. Katrina keeps trying to get me to go, and I haven't. That one looked cool, though, that you guys were in. Bro. I like that. It was like a little couple yeah, one. It's like not a, what you would expect. It was expect. like an elbow. You guys kind of like this, were on opposite sides. Was there like a, a place to rinse off afterwards? Yeah. Was it so private? It's like, a private room, so it's totally private. You go in there. The mud they make from clay and peat and natural mineral water from Calistoga because we were in Calistoga. So everything's from there and it's fresh or whatever. You get in the mud bath, you're naked, obviously. And it's a deep, like this deep tub, cement tub full of this mud. And you think you go in and you just go down to the bottom. Super thick. No, it's super thick. And you don't want to touch the bottom because it's hot as fuck. If you touch the bottom, you'll melt your foot off. So they're like, don't go to the bottom of it. You have to kind of like put yourself on the surface and you kind of wiggle yourself in. Really? Yeah, and the lady's like, "I'll be back in ten minutes to help, to to you know let you guys know that it's time to get out." And I'm like, 10 minutes." I'm like, "Aren't we supposed to be in here in an hour?" She's like, "You'll want to be out in ten minutes." <laughs> that thing is an oven. You're oh, wow. in this mud and it's hot, and there's your heat can't go anywhere. So you're literally cooking in this mud. And it's just it's, your head that's like out. That's just it? your head that's yeah. out. You're not selling this very well for me. It's actually so. Let me finish. So you, okay. you're in that <laughs> for ten <laughs> minutes. It's, like, it's a human soup. Yeah. Like doesn't sound fucking fun it's at really all. Th- so what it reminds me of is you know when you get the first time you went in a sauna and you, it was kind of hard to like okay I got to stay in here for a little longer than five minutes and you're withstanding the heat. So it's like that after about six or seven minutes you're like ooh I want to get out because it's really hot. But you stay in there for ten. Then you come out. Then you rinse yourself with this uh, mineral water that comes from again from Calistoga. Then you go in a mineral jacuzzi, and then after that they put you on this bed and they wrap you in these blankets and you go to sleep. Hmm. Bro, you I don't know if it's the minerals from the mud or from the water Excuse or the combination. Get, yeah, flooded with minerals huh, bro, through this whole process. Bro, your CNS is like you're like I felt like I took a roofie. Like I get out of that thing and I'm like, bro, huh. like it was I had to like. Sit in my car. Now, when they wrapped you, were you able to fall asleep? Out. Really? Out. <clears throat> Hard. Really? Yeah. It was a. It was like a 25, 30-minute nap, but it felt like felt like I woke up from the dead. Wow. Like I was so out. And Jessica, I couldn't even wake her up. I got scared for a second. I'm like, wake up. And I smacked her a couple times. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, you scared the shit out of me, babe. Anyway, you get in the car. I had to wait 15 minutes before I could drive. That's how like relaxed I was. Oh wow! It was fucking pretty fun, pretty fun stuff. Huh. But you get mud, in all kinds of different crevices and shit. So you got to make sure you wash yourself real well. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little mud in the butt crack area. Yeah, oh god! Yeah. 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 The mud, yeah. dirt mud clots butt. coming yeah. out like yeah, a week just, later. It dries up. You know what I mean? Good old mud butt. Get stuck to the butt hairs. I had some mud butt. Not this a comfortable. <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> no, I didn't. I was gonna say, yeah. is your, is how's your the diet? carnivore diet going? Uh, it's going. Did you go off of it? No, I didn't go off of it yet. It's been a bit of a struggle, but yeah, no, I still I'd, just meat, just meat, still just you, just meat. is the palate fatigue set in or what? Yeah, see, I, I the, the worst part is so I I started eating like deli meats because I kind of you know I, I was I, cheating. I, You're yeah, off of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't just as jealous? like a snack, you know, because like I man, I it, it is hard to get calories in, man. Like I, I'm. 
I just feel like it, it's tough to eat a bunch of meat and like you know have have it like where I feel like I'm I'm energized. You know, yeah. I'm just not energized yet. So now I, I I have this theory, dude, and I'm really worried for you. And this is that it at one point because six weeks is a long time. I know. To, I, well, yeah, I know. I've been evaluating that too. But go ahead. So what what my fear is that you should offset it with an all carb diet. No. We <laughs> I don't trust anything you guys have to say. Just, no, you should do just right. So what, what I'm assuming guys. is happening to you, and it sounds like that you're confirming that for me right now, is that it's really challenging to get 3,000 plus calories of just straight steak. Yes. So what you're probably ending up doing is probably getting less and less calories. And so your body's going to get adapted to, mm -hmm. one, not having carbohydrates, two, having lower calorie. And then when you decide, I'm over this fucking thing, look out yeah. it's going to be really tough to reverse out of that like you just got to slowly do it reverse yeah. yourself out of it slowly do you, there's a deal when you do something like this you say that like it's all easy well well yeah. and that's not easy but yeah. that's it's simple right that's yeah. we know what the what the structure is right right well i'm gonna i think i'm gonna give it about two weeks and then i might introduce like vegetables in mm -hmm. again but i'm also doing i'm gonna be doing the the chicken livers and uh egg yolks oh, yeah. so that's that's something that i'm gonna start doing yeah. this week ha have you weighed yourself today to see how much you've dropped yeah I've dropped like five total pounds That's it? since I've started. Yeah. You're fine, dude. Yeah. You're fine. I wouldn't so. worry about I wouldn't worry too much about eating too little. If you've only dropped five and you started how long ago? Yeah, I started about let's see four so about six days six days five pounds yeah that's that's actually normal for cutting carbs right right forget uh -huh. just the fact that you're carnivore yeah, yeah. you've dropped it's pro a good amount of that you've probably lost maybe one two pounds Have of you, fat yeah, it's like 1800 is like my stand like, i can't really budge past that like mm. 1800 seems calories to be like, yeah like every day is like it's that's tough. low calorie bro yeah, yeah it is for me, that's low. hella low calorie it, it, it is but you know i mean that's the thing it's you the, couple that with, i just need to eat more frequently I just think. i'm just saying dude you but how was your you couple that with high tr training hard too you know what i'm yeah. saying like you just you're gonna send that yeah. body's gonna think i don't need hardly any calories <laughs> I'm justin he did this last time too when he, when he did this <laughs> <laughs> he fasted hella hard i'm not yeah well that's the thing i've been training hard and i start i i've been doing a, a couple more that are like a little bit more moderate because just because like my energy isn't there, so yeah. I'm I'm trying to figure that out. Remember this, last this time you did trigger sessions to failure? This is exactly why I'm going to win. Justin's going to try too hard. You're not going to try hard enough. <laughs> I remember you saying that. Gonna, I was like, this fucking guy. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 gonna have no, no. It. no, I'm, I'm going to fix. You're going to try too hard. He's not going to try hard yeah, enough. Yeah. And I'm going to slide. We'll reintroduce right cheese. We'll that's see. my. That's my. <laughs> we'll see. It's my dark horse. <laughs> we'll see what happens. But no, we'll that's, see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. How was your weekend? I'll be fine. I was training and meal prepping. That's what I was doing. All weekend. Fucking a. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's good. Good for he's, you. He's, he's, so, be nervous. So where'd, you, where'd you work be at? Be nervous. I'm not. Where'd you work at? at? Did you just go, to, you go back to Gold's? Uh, yeah, we lifted one day at Gold's, and then Katrina and I came back here and lifted one day. So Saturday we lifted in here, Sunday we were at Gold's. Mm. And then uh, we're also, you know, packing up the house right now, too. So. Oh, you packing? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so we're, that. We're yeah, trying to get worst. into a place by August 1st right now, so that we're trying to push it even up. for. We were supposed to be out September but uh, I was like, fuck it. If we can get out and find a place right now, let's just go out. Let's go out early. And in fact, today I should find out if we're... What's, what's your like moving we're, date? Gonna, well, it might be August 1st. So I have till technically... Oh, I'll make sure I'm busy. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm not moving. Bro, <laughs> no, I, I ain't moving dude. Just let us shit. Know. I ain't yeah. moving. Yeah, hire people. It's all so right, worth right. it. No, no, I mean, like, I'm literally not taking anything. Oh, that's right. Yeah, You're just going to buy new shit. That's oh, it. Really? That's all she's allowed to keep. Like, oh, we've had, we had this big old thing over the weekend, too, because, like... Her mom was over, and, and she's like, people, all her family, friends, everyone's going through our stuff because I'm like, I'm getting rid of everything. It's fuck if we if it can't sell right away, I'm burning it. It's not coming right. So everyone's like coming over, like, oh, I want this, yeah. I want that, whatever. And Katrina's like, she's fighting me on this, even though she acts like she's not fighting me on it. And so we have like this, the dump pile, the sell, what we're selling pile, and then like the things that we're actually that we're actually taking. And every time I'll come back outside to check where the piles are going, so that I got to go back over and look at the things that we're keeping. I'm like, we are not fucking keeping this. Yeah. I'm not going to throw away some pillows that we can use for this spare bedroom. I'm like, those <laughs> pillows are, got, are years old. They got drool stains all over them. They're $10 at Target. Fucking throw them in the trash. Yeah. yeah. So mad, dude. So you Hard said to you, let those things so go. So you might, you, we found a place maybe? So, yeah. So I find out today, I'm going to be not far from you. Like close enough to walk? Commun uh, not walk. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't think we can hang out. We'll be up. Stuff. We'll be up close. We'll be head activities. heading up towards uh, Dorks. activities. We'll do lots <laughs> of activities together. Uh, up Communication Hill. Oh, okay. Like that. Like towards that way. Oh, so wait a minute. Get, are you going to be close to that tower? No, 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 no. no. Okay, good. <clears throat> don't don't live next to that tower. No, no, no. I'm not actually up at Communication. Like no, I'm prison. closer to. 
uh, like behind the car dealerships back that way. Mm. I know that is. Yeah, yeah. I know yeah. that is. Yeah, it's not far from me. So there's a, the exit you get off to go home, uh-huh. and you go right, uh-huh. and you go left to go to our oh, house. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah. So we, we, you want a carpool? We are. We're on the same street, dude. Okay. We can't, you can't hop All in right. with me. So. All right. We'll do that. How long does it take you to get here in the morning time? Uh, depends on traffic, but usually 30 minutes is on average. Sometimes it could take as long as an hour. Wow. It takes you that long to get from there? Because 87 can suck my dick. That's why. Yeah. Oh, you don't take all back streets? Oh, I would. What back streets would I take? I would take Lincoln. That's what I planned. Uh, Lincoln's going to take you for sure 35, 40 minutes. For sure. Oh, really? Yeah. For just, sure. Just because it's coming down, downtown. But then again, I come here after I drop my kids off in the morning. So I leave at 830 in the morning, which is kind of peak traffic. If you come here early. Yeah. If you leave at seven, you're probably going to get here in 15 minutes. Okay, that's okay. So I'm yeah. not that we shouldn't be that because it says worth. I think yeah. each Katrina. How crazy is this? This is why I think this place is meant to be. So we'll find out today. But we're both of us are exactly 13 minutes away from work. Oh, so you're right in the yeah. middle. Yeah, it's like oh, perfect. Dead center for both of us. And it's a it's a house with a yard and all that stuff. It's a townhouse. We have a it has a uh, you know two car garage that's attached to it. It's. It's a little bit smaller than what I'm in right now, but it's nicer than what I'm in mm-hmm. right now. So I'm um I'm I'm happy with the move, and it's just her and I right now. So it's we have it's a three bedroom. You guys haven't lived. Hold just you guys the, over for a while. Hold on, no, you guys haven't lived just the two. Of you guys have you guys ever just lived? Well, two when we, at my house, I mean, I guess you could say when we when we first started dating, <clears throat> I had my house still, and we spent most of the time over at my place. So, but when I sold my house, I moved in with her, and when I moved in with her, she she's always had Everett. She's lived with Everett forever. So he's not coming. Yeah, well, oh, he wants to. Is he oh, sad? Dude. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what's yeah, he gonna do? Yeah. Yeah. I told her though, no more, no more roommates, dude. There's, yeah. you know, there's, there's no reason for us. Where's to he gonna go? Well, not if you guys are trying to have a kid. Nah, yeah, and just there's no reason to. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, what? Oh, you're gonna have freaky sex, bro. <clears throat> That's why I told her. So I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> all mis- over the place. I, see, I had my house for nine years. You know what I'm saying? So I know it's like to walk up. around my house naked and yeah, make yeah. breakfast and do that and like sleep with my all my doors open. Exactly. Yeah, that's like I I miss all that shit. So. That's all happening. We we should find out today for sure if I we get that place or not. I'm I'm pretty sure we will, uh, and then uh, then I'll be moving beautiful by the, by the first beautiful so, dude. Yeah. I, I I totally hacked the alcohol, you know, hangover whatever hack fixed it. I mean, You're still it, doing your uh, it works, dude. Activated charcoal. So Jessica, like nine out of ten times, if she drinks, especially if it's wine, she's gonna have a headache mm. in the evening. It's just mm. you just have to deal with it. Like okay, we're gonna get a headache. But activated charcoal throughout the drinking. So we'll do like one or two capsules after like one or two glasses of wine. Uh, and we were drinking all day. We were wine tasting all day. That plus the organified green juice uh-huh. in between um, and or the gold juice, which has turmeric in it. We'll throw that in there. She Not only did she not have a headache both days, which is a miracle, mm-hmm. but both of us woke up the next day feeling... It's been fine. It's been a game changer since you introduced it, me. To that. It's crazy. No, it's been a game changer. Like I don't feel like I like yesterday we drank. I went wine tasting three times yesterday, and today I feel okay. Like a champion. Yeah, not like a champion. I can tell I, I wasn't you know on point, but right. I wasn't. I'm not hmm. terrible, which is a, it's a fucking miracle, dude. Speaking of our sponsors, guess who uh, just re-signed with us? I haven't had a chance to tell you guys this. We had such a great response from this company, and it was like almost. God, it's been two months at least since uh, we finalized everything, and I believe we're kicking up their their uh, next campaign is Health IQ. Mm. We they we had such a great. Well, it's a great it's a great business. Yeah, I think it just fits our audience really well too. I mean, obviously you have people that need insurance, right? So you have and they everybody that was when we did the first campaign. I mean, they they were all hesitant about advertising Mm -hmm. with us as a podcast because they weren't really in that space. It's a brilliant model that they have. I'm I'm mad that I didn't think about it. I mean, Mm -hmm. I mean, if you really think because they're life insurance, right? So people listening right now who don't know what this is, it's life insurance, but. When you pay your rate to an insurance company or whatever, to two insurance companies, because it's like you can get with a broker that can find different ones, your rate is for your risk, but you also, it's also, it's kind of cumulative, all the risks that they paid, all that, st- all that cost goes in there. Well, Health IQ tries to work with fit and healthy people, is yeah. what they try to do. Right. Yeah, because it saves money, I and, mean, at the end of the day. And that's what they're known for. So then when they go off to get you to, to find you, you know, carriers, they're like, oh, we're Health IQ. We... Vet people, we work with healthy, fit people. The you're a lower risk for these insurance companies, and your price yeah, is cheaper. So we should be paying less yeah. money for it. Was it Doug? You're the one because Doug works worked in the insurance company or uh, insurance industry for a while, for a long time. He went and tried to see 
if he could find better prices and he couldn't. No. Substantially less. In fact, I think it was like 22% for myself. And I tried to match it with the companies I work with and I couldn't. Yeah. So that's good. I'm glad. Uh, yeah. So how long are they working with us for? Uh, I think they signed for, an, I think, another two or three months they're signed up for. I got to ask Taylor. I mean, Taylor handles all the contracts with the finalize, all that stuff. But <clears throat> he had, him and I met last week. And we were just kind of going over like what sponsors, mm. what campaigns, where are we at. And he goes, "Oh, by the way," he goes, "You know, Health IQ finally got back, and cool. Uh, we had they had such a great response. They want to run cool. the campaign again, so that was really cool." Doug, do they do all the versions of life insurance, like whole life, and no, they focus on term life insurance. Okay, just a straight. <clears throat> yes, correct. Okay, so okay. people with families and children. They need to make sure that their kids are taken care What's of. What's the difference with what Sal just said? What's what there's you, some there's different types of insurances yeah. that you can treat like investments and, and and stuff like that. But this is just you know you sign up for thirty years, it's good for thirty years. Mm-hmm. If you die within that period of time, you get a a defined benefit. Meaning, you what know, if you outlive it? Then it's gone mm-hmm. after that. Oh shit! But it, the idea is to cover you when you need the money. So, for example, somebody with a family or a spouse or somebody that they want to ah, take well, care of, them. if they weren't to make it uh, during it. that period of time, then yeah. then that's where that uh, that comes into play. Do you and Katrina do that for, with each other? Do you guys have insurance with each other? No, we don't. Right? We don't yet. I'm sure when we when the family comes around and all that. Yeah, happens, that's when you'll want. That's oh, absolutely. That's yeah, a no that's brainer. When, First yeah, thing you need to that. do. Yeah, no, that's a no brainer when that all happens. Yeah. But right now, if I die, like you know, you know, whatever. Yeah. It's like my sister is the beneficiary for most of my stuff. So really? she, yeah, she gets made. She makes out. Really? Did we do something for mind pump? Something happens to one of us? Not yet. Mm. Holy shit! We should do that. Yeah. Yay. You know what you do with that, right? With the business. Oh, I did this that, I did this in my last business. Taking you out. You get a policy for your partners, then when they if something happens to them, yeah, we get paid out. Then that buys out their their, their share. Their half. share or whatever, yeah, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Now will we all valued equally because we're equal partners or will it be different? I would say we're valued equally. Mm-hmm. I'd like to think that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's all based on percentages, like how well we would be able to do without that one person. <laughs> is that what it is? There's a special al- mind pump algorithm. Yeah. 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 How we'll like figure if, that out. Like if Doug was dead, we've like done. Yeah. There's no mind pump. What's your weight? <laughs> yeah. at all. I said, we always talk about the, our, our replacements. We haven't thought about who would replace Doug. Oh, oh, we'd have to hire no, like, 50, like five people. There is yeah. no good producers out there. No. Really? No. There's not. No. Most of these, not like Doug. Steal, most of these like clowns Joe would be Rogan's. doing it themselves. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Most people don't have like a dub. Get young no. Jamie. That's about it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Jamie is uh, Joe's, right? Yeah. So, and then who he's is- the only one I know. He's, he's good. Kidding. And then so is, um, okay, so there's some guys that we can replace you with. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm not Find going anywhere up. soon, though. I don't think, anyway. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, Dude, so. Justin, you got to tell Adam yeah. about the, the treehouse thing that you're building. Did you hear about this? No, no. He's trying to build in his backyard? So, well, I- all weekend, I've been kind of clearing out my backyard and like uh, making, um, you know, uncovering all the underbrush and all that kind of stuff. So that I have like all these stumps on my on my backyard, and I have all these trees. And so I promised the boys that I and I kind of mentioned this on the show that I was going to build like a tree house. But um, my ideas turned into like uh, it, it's a bit of an ordeal. So what I'm doing is I'm building these platforms for a lot of the stumps. So they're going to have like four or five different platforms. So they have a zip line, they have a rope uh, bridge and that kind of shit. So I can prefab it first and then kind of put it on top of these stumps. So it doesn't take as much effort and stuff because like when you build tree houses, it's quite involved. Like you have to get like tree taps and you have to do all this kind of stuff. So anyways, it's, it's like, it's less complicated, but more work is what I just added for myself. But, oh yeah. shit. But yeah, you, got zip line, you got a zip line, you got a zip line, you got a rope bridge. Is yeah. there going to be like a little covered up house area where they could go not yet I, like what i want to do is build up to that so with the uh the platforms i can kind of build on top of they're like little mini decks you know that uh-huh. they can kind of look out and play so um i'm i'm basically building all this so they have like a rad like nerf fort house fighting yeah oh my like, god dude that's so, so cool they'll, they'll all fight they'll, their friends will come over they ha- it's kind of like going to be in in a loop so they can kind of go from the bridge to this platform go to the other one hit, hit the zip line go up this trail come back and they do kind of a a, a loop 
So oh, dad shit, of the year, dude. Yeah. It no, sounds, like, I, sounds like a lot of calorie burning though. Exactly. <laughs> that's what I'm going to be doing all. Yeah. I've been, I've been doing nothing. That's but your like neat work. Yeah. 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 You yeah. might need some carbs to fuel. That. <laughs> I think so, dude. You know, what's funny. I read that. I'm fine. That, that donuts in a carb depleted state actually burn body fat. Adam. <laughs> oh. I did it. it, was oh, the, send, it was, send me that article. It was the secret of the glazed donut. Article. Yeah. yeah I saw that. The I secret of the, <laughs> secret of the glazed donut. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds so legit. I know, right? It yeah. sounds so real. I think I read the same article. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> dude, so crispy cream for the win. So I got to read you guys this uh, oh. this uh, this article that I read in Newsweek because I couldn't fucking believe it. I hope I didn't read this already. Let me know if I told you guys about this already. This is the ti- This is the title of the article from Newsweek. This was published uh, April nineteenth, two thousand eighteen. Mice. With human brains created a new study, could one day repair brain damage in humans. What? With human <laughs> brains? What are you talking about? Baby mice have had human brain cells implanted in their brains. What? So they implanted human brain cells into mice pups, which resulted in the animals growing a brain that was both human and rodent. And they hope that one day- It's splinter! I was just going to say what that. What the fuck? <laughs> you beat me to it. And, and they hope that one day these special mice will help them better understand how the human brain develops. Can we give them like ninja skills? So yeah. what I want to do is Can I want- put them with four turtles and see what happens? Yeah. 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 I, I, what I want to do is I want to just like, let's come up with all the different ways this could go wrong. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like for me, the, the first way is- That's scary. You dude. make a mouse that's got a, a human brain. It has it starts to develop a consciousness and then it figures out it's being experimented on Yeah. for a for other people that's yeah. fucked up number yeah. one and right it's pretty be- sure that'll call, create resentment in the mouse human brain right. population what if it escapes and like makes its way to like new york where there's like a fucking million of those things that's what i'm saying and like, you don't know which one is the one with the and human it starts brain. communicating to them that's what i'm saying and they all attack us in our yeah because they're all like in the cages they're like they're just fucking using us to experiment yeah. and then yeah. they then they it's escape like planet of the apes but but mice they're that's such a bad idea what are we doing dude this is, why are we yeah. making mice humans Science. <laughs> mice humans. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> Who's fucking brilliant idea? Why do this? why do scientists they do they not have like a? It's because we can. Yeah, you know what they need? We need like a an official like, you know, people or like a yeah. like a department. Yeah. Where where they the, what they do is they get the ideas and then they say nah not a good idea yeah let's reject that yeah. like, like yeah. they get a what the fuck award yeah yeah I want to make a lizard and combine it with the just because you can doesn't mean you should you know what I'm saying dude yeah I don't know about that anyway <laughs> pretty pretty little, pretty little mice humans pretty crazy but you know apparently I guess what they're gonna do is they're gonna study the brains to see how to treat things like Alzheimer's and and dementia <sighs> you know. If they're going to go through this much trouble, why don't they just... Yeah, I guess it's really hard to take and study these things because they develop over such long periods of time. Like mm. All you can do is population-based studies where you ask people surveys. Like, how do you like to eat and what are your activities? You can't take people in a controlled environment for 50 years and then say, oh, okay, the reason why people are getting Alzheimer's is this with their diet or this with their... It's kind of hard to do that, right? Mm-hmm. So they have to do this. You don't think we have I humans guess. that are like in, in prison for life that have all these conditions that we can just test? <sighs> Yeah, but it's unhumane. That's fucked up, dude. They're, they're in prison for life. They, they used to do that. I I know. I know. It did. just makes sense to me. It's like you're fucked anyway. So at least do now this is your way to give back. You uh, fucked the fucking society. You're locked up forever. Maybe they take time off of your sentence. Experiment on you. You know, you can make hey, it, you how can about make that? a deal. How about that? You mm. could take time off of someone's sentence. Be right. like, look, you're in here for life. What we'll do is we'll give you just 25 years. Right. Yeah. If you let us experiment on your brain. Yeah, we're going to turn you into Why a not? turtle. Why not? Yeah. Why yeah. not? I wonder. I feel like that's- Nobody would allow that to happen. You don't think so? No. Mm. Even now, if they, that's different. Even if they signed? Even if they said the game that, no, they wouldn't. But you're right, because that's different. For me personally, if a mouse could consciously uh, volunteer and agree to something, I don't have a problem with it. So like, I don't have a problem if, the, if, the, if people are like, look, take 10 years, years off my sentence. I'll do all the risks and you can do all the experiments. It's my body. Yeah. People don't want to do that though. People don't want to see that. They don't want to know that exists. You know what I mean? Really? But I, I think that would be fine because the person agreed to it. I think so too, dude. That's the plot of that one Terminator movie. Which yeah. one? The one with um, what Christian Bale, and and it's got the other guy Sam Worthington. So Sam Worthington, he's like I a watched prisoner. It. I didn't watch and After Judgment. Judgment. He signed some one. sheet where he like you know for. He signs over basically. They can experiment on him, and they keep him alive as like a, a robot. Mm. And then he fucking. Which one was that? That was like uh, when they revamped the whole 
Um, they ruined that. What's the one where he? he the last it one was I like wa- the latest. The last one I watched was the one where he he ramps the diesel off the fucking the the side of the freeway. What's that? What's that? <laughs> That's probably, That's probably all, all of them. them. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so, uh, yeah, it's all determined on which like Guns N' Roses songs yeah. in the background. Uh, he's like, hey, which one's, the, which the one's the one with the explosion and the machine guns? <laughs> yeah. I think I've seen it. How many are there? There's like four or five right now. This is at least like, more. I think there's like six. Is yeah. there really that yeah. many? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I think after the third one is where I stopped. Right. I think I stopped at the third one. That one was good, though. It was like a, a good refresh, a rebrand mm-hmm. of, of Terminator. It was okay. I don't know, I mean, man. it wasn't like, yeah, it was good. I liked it. Term- Terminator, the series. Terminator is the f- one of the only I can't maybe you guys can help me because you guys are all both kind of movie buffs too it's the only series that I can think of off the top of my head I'm sure there's more where the sequel was better than the original or the oh, sequel yeah. like blew it up more than the original yeah because mm-hmm. Terminator uh-huh. 1 was awesome everybody loved it but it was kind of a cult classic uh-huh. Terminator 2 well, was, was lower fu- budget I think yeah you know and then yeah the, 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 it's but the storyline in Terminator 2 was incredible was too yeah it was great that one was fucking awesome and he had all his one liners he was like classic yeah. Arnold yeah. can you yeah. think of another series of movies where the sequel was better than uh, what about Star Wars uh, uh, there Back anything? to the Future well, people say Empire Strikes Back I thought Back to the Future 2 and 3 like were both good better. you thought they were better than the first one sure first one was I mean first one's a game Again, classic. It has to be better than the first, uh, is yeah, what I'm I saying. Know, I, like I don't know the, if it was better. Yeah, I don't That's know if a you tough could, one. Well, I don't even know if you could claim ter- the Terminator ones. I, it's never better because the the first idea is original, right? Yeah. It's a, so original, yeah, like and if the it, Matrix blew it, yeah. right? Exactly. So yeah. nothing's ever better the second time. But I think if even if a sequel does good or is even comparable, I think it yeah. well, you would consider it really because that rarely happens either. Like yeah, normally true. two, three, four on is Godfather ter- two was good. Godfather mm. Part Two was fucking amazing. I thought at least that's the one where they go to Sicily and they show. That's the horsehead one. See, right? Indiana Jones. I liked. I liked actually the Last Crusade. So that's the third one, though. It's not the second one. Like yeah. the, the Temple of Doom. Second one wasn't good. It wasn't as Temple, good. But yeah. the Last Crusade, I thought, was better mm-hmm. even than. Hey, speaking of good shows, one. last night I watched. Um, well, my buddy kept telling me to watch this on Amazon Prime. You can. Uh, it's called Dear Zachary. Have you guys seen this? Mm-mm. I saw. I've seen a commercial for it watch it i know you'll like it okay yeah what's it about it's a it's a i don't want to ruin it like i just want you to watch it it's it's actually a real story i didn't know i didn't Mm. know anything about it so watch it you'll i know you'll you'll enjoy it it'll be give us good discussion afterwards too okay it's kind of a heavy show though it's heavy it's a heavy movie that doesn't give us a lot yeah Um, uh (laughs) this netflix show uh, was it called like dark dark tourism or dark tourists um, have you guys seen it yet? No. Like, oh, dude, it's 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 really fascinating. Like, this guy goes, he he shows this whole world of people that that um, they go on these different vacations that are just all the the macabre, you know, side of things. So he goes down and 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 does like Day of the Dead and like goes through like oh, Dia de los okay. Muertes and he does. Um, <laughs> I like when he speaks Spanish. He, 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 hola. Almost <laughs> 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 Yeah. Um, yeah, but um, what else did he? Oh, he they're narcos. They have like they have like tourism for narcos. So like basically, you go to Colombia and then you you like retrace all the stuff they bring up in in the show and um, they show like the guy that extreme travel. They call his it. his main yeah extreme tra- his the main guy the the hitman for um what's his name again Pablo Escobar uh-huh. like he's in he's in this documentary and like it's fucked up because he's like like retracing how he kills people like with a blank on the tu- gun and for the tourists yeah oh. so you're traveling with the murderer yeah and he's like hey yeah so i slid like, yeah, so this is how i do it and he's like shooting his his gun off and like they're 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 like reenacting like certain things like like what the style. fuck's wrong with people yeah why are we yeah. doing this yeah why are we doing this so this guy this fucking murderer is cool to these people and yes. he's showing them what he's doing and he's making himself feel better about and they're glamorizing and he's like really it. charming and funny, you know. And what? It's just like, yeah, and it's it's fucked up. It's like what is he, wrong? With and people? this guy has all this like conflicted thoughts around it too. The guy that's like uh, the narrator of the show, and he also does one where he's like, uh, he's trying to. How do they get that approved? I don't know. <laughs> so Who are they going to approve? They just make money. They're making all this money off. I of don't this. think it is approved. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you send that to? I don't know, uh, dude. Uh, <laughs> you like fill you, out a form? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, hold on, honey. I, I know our business I got a field good, trip with a murderer yeah, I want to yeah. do. Dude, they even reenact like border like crossing. So like, you, you know, what do they call them? Wolves or- Oh, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So they smuggle people. Like, so they like reenact this. They have like fake, you know, people come in and like hold them at gunpoint and all this stuff.
stuff and then they're like trying to go through the so they they can like experience is, what you like, know these people go through you know why you know why this is happening i know exactly why it's happening same reason why there's uh, obstacle course racing it's life is too easy and fucking boring. Yeah, people need to feel excitement, but needs to be just controlled enough so they don't actually yeah, so they don't actually get the gun put. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. It's yeah. like it's almost like yeah, it. Yeah. It's you know it's almost like it's humanity. Weird. Humanity needs a, like a mass pruning every once in a while. You know what I mean? Like a mass something because I feel like people are getting antsy. Yeah, you right. know what I mean? Everything's too easy and too good. So like, honey, what are we gonna do? I'm fucking bored. You want to go to Hawaii? Yeah. No, that's stupid. You want to do another orgy? Nah, we did four of them already. Yeah. What do you want to do? Drugs? Nah, I'm bored of drugs. Oh, I know. Let's go do this fucking Fall around a serial killer. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Let's go sneak into America. Let's pretend like we're illegal sneaking into America with a wolf, and then you know we you might know, die. You okay. know what's interesting about that is I I speculated that because of that that we would see UFC continue to rise and explode because it's like the closest thing to like you know the, gladiators. Yeah, the gladiator times, right? Mm -hmm. And that people are mm -hmm. are thirsty for that. But I think uh, I think UFC is struggling right now. It is. That's oh. so. That's kind of crazy, right? Mm -hmm. Like the Fertitas left, right? Yeah, so that's what's happened, right? Ever since they left, it's been kind of on this down, down, sp downward spiral, yeah. man. Well, mm. they lose. They've a couple times now. They've had some like money makers, right? Like uh, Ronda Rousey was a huge money maker, yeah, and she, you know, turned out to be a dud, right? Well, and John McGregor Jones fucking keeps fucking up. John yeah. Jones keeps fucking up. McGregor has made his money. Like you know, it's hard to get him back in to right. you know to fight. So I think supposedly that's a tough he's part. training right now for one. For who? I don't know. They they haven't announced it, but he's. I mean, he's on. He's posting like he's yeah. training, training to get back. UFC in shape. or boxing? Like, what's? Do you know? What do you mean? Which yeah. one's better? No, or which strong? one? Like McGregor's training for? Oh, whichever one's going to pay him more. I'm sure. Yeah, but it's probably UFC. I'm assuming. I'm sure. I'm sure he's done with boxing. Yeah. So you think anyway. so? Hmm. I feel like the three of us um, should draft a another staff member that like you're an underling yeah that no, you're now you're, no, you're changing the rules I, well it doesn't have to this isn't the form the, the contest it should be like okay listen there's we got other these other employees they're they're coming to all of us for advice right we should each take kind of one under our wing and say okay i'm gonna help him or her out like she's gonna he, him or her is gonna be my my uh, well, I, I want to help them all i've been trying to I've been well talking of course i know yeah, yeah. Just but answer I, it as it comes but yeah. i feel like I don't have a favorite. Why do you have a favorite? Oh, Enzo had an idea today. He What's goes, it? there should be two contests. Should be you guys and then us over here in the, in the front office. Don't tell them. <laughs> Maybe we should, but don't tell them. Yeah. We'll pick the winners, and then when we pick the winner of them, we'll give them a prize. Well, I kind of already just even though we made. You the, told him. Well, well, they, he listens to the show too. By the way, I know. So, actually, <laughs> Enzo is like the only one that actually listens. Yeah. So. It, yeah, because Rachel doesn't really Rachel doesn't listen. Taylor doesn't really listen. Drew sporadically does he very sporadically listens. Mm. Like you know, you know how I get to Drew to uh, to listen. I tell him that I said his name. Of course, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I hey, we talked about you. Yeah, I talked about you the Same podcast with Enzo. And then he's like, "Which one? Ooh, you mentioned me." Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Enzo, Enzo's a good boy. Yeah. That, you know, I I he's a good boy. I he, took him all to to Logic, boy. and it was. Uh, Quite interesting, man. Uh, the concert was definitely uh, a lot younger crowd than I anticipated. Oh, yeah. You're getting old, buddy. Yeah. I felt old. <laughs> they played Street Fighter, dude. Like, I could not believe that they kept a, a 20,000 audience captivated watching video games. Like, this is crazy. 15 years ago, this would never fly. Like, no, it's like, like a, a total boom. throwback for well, them. Well, could too, you yeah. imagine if you were like some Metallica concert, and then all of a sudden they're like, Right in the middle of said, hang on. Yeah. My boy was talking shit about yeah. beating me in Street Fighter. <laughs> throws it up on the screen and then they play. It'd be worse if it was like Zelda. You know, you'd be playing forever. Uh, yeah. <laughs> now, now you, you, you gotta you gotta think of this though. Like, there's some brilliance there on his part to think to think creatively to incorporate that into the the show. Right? Like, I mean, we are in a time now where there's kids that are making millions of dollars playing video games online, and other kids just watch. Video games their, make more money than movies. Yeah. Right. So to incorporate it into your your set, kind of smart. Mm. I thought that it was pretty smart. brilliant. I thought it was silly, but pretty clever. This quaz brought to you by Organifi. For those days you fall short on getting your organic veggies or whole food nutrition, Organifi fills the gap with laboratory tested certified organic superfoods to help give your health and performance the added edge. Try Organifi totally risk free for 60 days by going to Organifi.com. That's O R G A N I F I.com. And use the coupon code MINDPUMP for 20% off at checkout. First question is from Brian Dominic. 
How do you stop or reverse balding? Is it possible? <laughs> do things like Rogaine work? Did you pick this question, what? you fucking <laughs> cock smoker? Uh, this, is, this, is, this is a question. Uh, we, people we, need help, man. We get often on. Oh, the perks of getting to the studio first is you get to yeah. pick the questions yeah. that we're yeah. going to answer. Pattern balding. That's the thing. No, you know what? This is a question I've seen at least a dozen times over the last year or two that it pops up in our and our questions is something that people want to know. It's in it's like I mean I mean here's the deal with balding. Uh largely genetic, very, very largely genetic. But there are some things that you can do that seem to help at least slow the process down. Now I want to ask you, Adam, because you have experience with this, but also because <laughs> you've been using the juve, the juve light, right? Have yeah. you noticed anything from that? So, okay, so this is, that's the infrared, right? Right on the right on the right on the noggin. Right, yeah, right. Yeah. So, <laughs> shine a light on You're the such dome. A dick for yeah. this one. <laughs> no, yeah. no. Uh, well, so let's first back up and talk about. So, balding does roll, run in my family. Um, although I never, I, I had a thick head of hair for quite some time. I didn't notice it accelerate until I messed with testosterone. Until I mess with steroids. So once I mess with steroids, especially my first time ever messing with Masteron. And at that time, I didn't. Masteron is a, D it's a DHT derivative based steroid, right? Sounds like so an awesome metal band. It's Well, it's known for making your muscles feel hard and it's androgenic and it's supposed to, you know, make you, give you a strong libido and bodybuilders use it pre-contest to give their muscles a hard look or whatever. But it has a very strong affinity for the receptors in the scalp and in the prostate. So if you have a tendency for prostate enlargement, probably one of the worst ones you can take. Wow. It's and a hair double loss. whammy right there. Yeah. So what happened? When you start taking it, you just see the hair just start to... Well, I, rem I, mean, I remember like it was day the first day it ever happened to me because it was the scariest thing ever. It was oh, shampooing, no. washing your hair. And then, <laughs> you know, that's that's how you... I think that's how every, every man that starts to go bald or starts thinning, the way he noticed is... Because there was a day when he wasn't thinning, and then all of a sudden a day where it began happening, or you began noticing at least. And the day I noticed it was, I remember shampooing in the shower, and I bring my hands down, and I look down, and there's like hair in my hand. Not a lot, you know, but some. Yeah. <laughs> More than there ever was before. And I remember going like, oh, like <laughs> freaking out instantly. What? Right. And then you so, like go to your girlfriend. Am I losing it right here? Is it? Oh man! So it, it after that, and that was all after my the first time I'd ever messed with testosterone. I noticed a little bit of it thinning, but then it kind of like as soon as I came off the testosterone, I noticed that it it slowed down, and I actually felt like it kind of came back a little bit. So while I was on testosterone, it I was I started noticing it uh, losing it. So this is way back in my mid early twenties, like when I was messing with testosterone, and. I noticed it was thinning, and then when I would come off a cycle, I would notice that it would it would thick, thicken back up a little bit. So, so it, would come, it would go down a little bit and then come back? Would it come back all the way, or would it be worse off than it was in the beginning? Yeah, it was a little worse off than it was at the beginning. So was, each time was successively? E yes. So each mm -hmm. time it was a, a little bit more, a little bit more. And then I, I fucked around with, um, what's the one that starts with a B? B Fuck, what's the famous, it's a famous hair shampoo. It's Bosley. Called, Bosley, thank you. Oh. So I did the whole- I watched the commercials. I did the whole yeah. Bosley thing, right? And that's like a $800 bill, you know, of shampoo. And that is that, is that have minoxidil in it? Yeah, I think okay. so. Okay. So that's- Which, by the way, I told you guys how that started, right? Minoxidil was a, it was a drug that they were researching, researching for, um, uh, for heart, uh, for blood pressure. And one of the side effects was hair growth. And so, of course, they're like, well, <laughs> there's way more money in this for hair growth. But, like, where did it grow? Yeah. So, I don't know. Well, this It'll grow weird. anywhere, I think, you put yeah. it on your body, if I'm so not mistaken. I, so I did this, and it's like a three-bottle process, and it's such a it was such a headache, right? And it was expensive. And after a few weeks, what I noticed was it gave me, like, this peach fuzz. And it did make my hair look thicker because what it, did, it grew back these little stubbles. Hmm. And and I remember that, and I you could totally feel it because I'd be like washing my hair, and I'm like, oh shit, I have like these little stubbles now that I can feel all over the place in my hair. And then I look in the mirror, and I'm like, oh, it does look thicker because of that. Hmm. And so it, that got me excited, like, oh, this shit's really working. And so I stuck with it like for a couple more months, and then I noticed that the stubbles never grew any more than like these little stubbles. They just were these little. They just never grew into full length. It's like a five o'clock shadow. Yes, it was like a five o'clock shadow on my on my balding spot. Which what happened when you stopped taking it though? So that's where I got pissed. Yeah. 
So then I was just like, okay, it, I didn't feel like it made that much of a difference. It's, it, it was really expensive. I don't remember the exact price. I know I said $800, but it was, it was expensive. It wasn't cheap. And I remember being like, man, just just for a little bit better, like I'm not that insecure about it. I know we laugh about it and joke about it, but I really don't give that much a shit about it, right? So I'm like, whatever. Like I, I'd rather just be thinning and then not have to deal with it. So I stopped taking it. Then when I stopped taking it, like the hair, then it got worse. And I was mm-hmm. like, oh, this motherfucker. Uh-huh. Like now it felt like it, I was losing it again. Yeah, because I did some research on minoxidil and it, it was originally developed for vasodilation. And that's kind of what it does. That's how they think it works on the scalp is it increases blood flow and supposedly it helps <clears throat> grow hair. I think there's a different mechanism that they're not identifying yet. But what it does is it'll grow back some hair, but it'll also stop the hair loss or or at least dramatically slow down the hair loss. But what happens when you stop using it is you catch up to where you would have been had you never used it. Right. So if you would have lost X amount of hair up until this point, but you've stopped that from happening because you were using minoxidil, and then you stop using minoxidil, it catches up real fast. And right. then you get this contrast. Mm. And that's what happens. That's exactly I, how what I felt. Yeah. And that was really the difference. Because before, you know, all this me talking about thinning, like, I didn't, no one really noticed. Like, I, I noticed because I'd see little pieces of hair and stuff like that, yeah. but I was still had a pretty full head of hair. Even when it, back in my mid 20s when it was starting to go, like, it wasn't bad. I right away, because I was known for having a thick head of hair, and I noticed it just because I'd run my hands through my hair, and it did. It started to feel thin. Mm-hmm. Even though it didn't look it for the average person, I knew it was starting to go that direction. So, this was me trying to combat that, and it did. It totally backfired on me. And then I went through this little phase for about six months to a year where it felt like it accelerated it, mm-hmm. and then it kind of went to a halt. And then after that, um, that was then after that, I, I was now I'm in my like late twenties. This is me again. Now I'm like prescribed. I get prescribed testosterone. I believe when I was 29. So then when I was taking that, I actually when I was taking a very therapeutic dose, I actually felt pretty good. It felt like it actually grew a little bit of my hair back. Mm-hmm. That was I thought that was pretty cool. So yeah, I don't think the normal amounts are going to make you lose more than you normally would. Yeah. So when it's I was when you go the higher amount. Yeah. So when I was on a therapeutic dose, uh, I actually felt like it was kind of holding my hair there. I didn't feel like it was growing it back, but I didn't feel like I was losing anymore. Where before, it felt like I was just getting a little thinner every single year. Where this being back on the therapeutic dose, it felt like okay, this is mm-hmm. at least how slowing. much of those hair transplant. Uh, Hell, ten thousand, right? ten thousand. Like, is it ten? Yeah, I looked at it. How it. proven is it? Like, is really, it it'll, it'll it, give you hair. No, yeah. it works. They take it from like the bottom of the bottom part of your yeah. your neck right here, uh-huh. and then they transplant it wherever. And it's they at. do a pretty good job now. Back in the day, you could tell when people do it because it looked like plugs. <clears throat> you yeah. could see, but now my hairstylist like, always tells like me like, if you ever, she goes, if it ever really bothers you, she goes, you should go do, you should go do it. You, she goes, you have a good, you have the fact that I have black hair. It's just a really small spot in the back. She's like, it would, you would never know with you. No, does but it, I don't care enough. Can it fall yeah, out? Yeah, yeah. Can you lose that also? I don't know. I didn't ask that. I would you know th- what I mean? Like, what if somebody, you got a hair transplant? I think they like surgically put it in there. I don't think it's. Well, I know that, but could you go back on gear or whatever and then oh, cause it to yeah, fall yeah, out Oh, again? that's a good question. Oh, I, I didn't ask that. I didn't ask yeah. that question. But so, so so then I'm, I'm on therapeutic dose. Then I get into competing. Then I start hitting higher doses. I notice it again, starting to thin. I back back down after competing's over. You know, this is just a couple of years ago now on the podcast. Uh, I've pretty much kind of stayed the same. And when I got off completely, I did, especially during these, this hormone time, I started to notice it started thin again. Now, this is when I started to inc- incorporate the, the juve. And the juve, I kind of feel like the Juve did to to my scalp the same thing that like the Bosley did, only without the chemicals on my head. Mm-hmm. So and I and it's easier for me to do because I've been doing it for my psoriasis, anyways. It's actually good for you, right? Mm-hmm. And it's good. It's it's because it's healthy for me. I feel better about doing like the bot. And it's not obviously after you've made the purchase of the Juve, or we like all right, we have the infrared inside of our sauna too. That to me has been like way way better. Yeah, because they make combs. They make combs with infrared light, and I don't know the quality of of them but they've shown in studies that that infrared treatment does slow down stop and in some people reverse hair loss yeah which mm. it's a non-chemical intervention well that's what that's which what, is ideal that's what i like so what always another thing that always freaked me out about bosley because you know somebody might be wondering like well if it slowed us down stopped it why wouldn't you just keep going forever is i just never felt good about the chemicals on my mm-hmm. head forever mm-hmm. like I just was uncertain about that. I didn't. I didn't think that was a good idea. That's, I, I'm. I'm with you on that. You right. know? I'm and, with you on that. Like, is it a good thing? And there are, 
Some cases where people lose more hair, by the way, I want to make sure to say that, some people use minoxidil and actually lose more hair mm. than they did initially. So it's not like this guaranteed thing, but it is. It's a chemical you're putting on your head. Look, there's, there's other drugs you can use too, like finasteride or dutasteride. These are, these are drugs you can take that prevent the conversion of testosterone to DHT. DHT is a form of testosterone that is it's very androgenic. So when you look at hormone, when you look at anabolic hormones or testosterone, uh, you know type hormones or steroids, they have anabolic properties, which are the muscle building properties, and then they have androgenic properties, which are the masculinizing properties. That's what makes you a man. So if I gave you know uh, steroids to a woman, she'd build muscle, but then she would also masculinize because it's got androgenic properties. And what are, what does masculinization mean? Well, growing hair on your face, your your chest, deepening of your voice, oilier skin more aggression, that kind of stuff, right? And even hair loss and prostate enlargement. So what some of these drugs do is they prevent the conversion of testosterone to DHT so that you don't get these androgenic effects that can cause hair loss or prostate enlargement. But the problem with that is you also, many times people will use these things and their libido will go to shit mm. because they lose that DHT, which tends to give people that feeling or they'll feel depressed. Right. And it's again, it's another drug. It's another chemical Which, intervention. Again, the the juve light is supposed to enhance that also. So right. I'm like, for me, it's been it's been awesome. Like the like, it, by no means am I trying to sell it. Like we it grew my hair back, or I have these crazy testosterone levels from it. But I feel like it's mitigated it. Like the the loss of my hair, like it's definitely slowed the process down, or at least stalled it for me. Mm -hmm. And because I'm doing it for my psoriasis, I'm doing it for my testosterone levels. It's like, why not just fucking do it? For, so I just dip my head down while I'm sitting in front of the juve light here's, or in the sauna. Here's another thing you can do that's natural. Um, Saul Palmetto. Um, I know you've been telling herb. me that for a long time, and I still have yet to do it's, that. It's an herb. Does Thrive sell it? Uh, Thrive Market, I'm pretty sure will <gasps> sell. I don't think I don't know if they sell the shampoo of, of Saul Palmetto, but I'm pretty sure that they'll sell Saul Palmetto in capsule form that you can take. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. oh. So what salt palmetto does is salt palmetto blocks or partially blocks the DHT receptors. Now, here's the deal. It's, there, it's primarily genetic in terms of how many of these receptors you have in your scalp and in your prostate. So that's why some guys like Jay Cutler, who's Mr. Olympia, right? Jay Cutler has no hair loss whatsoever. For sure, that guy was on a shit ton of gear. And I know bodybuilders like that where they can take high doses of anabolics or men that just, they can, you know, get to 95 years old and have almost a full head of hair. And then I know guys, you know, we have friends that are, you know, went fully bald in their mid-20s. A lot of that has to do with how many of these receptors they have in their scalp. So you probably have a lot of DHT receptors in your scalp, and that's why you end up losing hair. I know, personally, I have a lot probably in my prostate. It runs in my family. Prostate enlargement's a, a, a big problem in my family. So what I do is I use Saul Palmetto Shampoo. Now, the idea with the shampoo is you wash your hair with it. You leave the shampoo on for like a minute or two so you can wash the rest of your body. That bl helps block the receptors in the scalp so that your DHT doesn't cause hair loss. Now, I've been using Sal Palmetto shampoo for about, I want to say maybe seven years. Now, I for sure should be way more bald than I am now. I've got relatively full head of hair. You can see a little bit of thinning in the back, but you can't really tell. I for sure should be like my brother who's younger than me and he's already lost more hair than me. All the men in my family have hair loss and I think that the salt palmetto shampoo made a big difference and it's natural. You now Doug just pulled up the Thrive and they do have the... They have salt palmetto yeah, uh, in, in supplement form. Now what's your thought on that by me taking it through a, a pill versus actually putting it on the scalp? You know, here's the thing... It, it's, I use the shampoo so I could direct it to my scalp. If you take it by pill form, you're going to get that systemically, I think, more. And uh, it, it won't hurt. Give it a shot. There's some Italian studies that show that salt palmetto supplementation does uh, help a lot with, uh, now, with is, hair loss. Would it hurt me at all to be have the pills and then also have the shampoo? I mean, is that going to be... I would go with... Uh, try both, and then you can always cut one out and see what happens. Okay. Yeah, and see how God, that works. Dude, I've got that too. That's funny. Yeah. I always thought Sal Palmetto was like, you know, Vidal Sassoon. You know? No. It was like, a, <laughs> like one of those. Yeah, one of those like uh, shampoo, like uh, fancy. No, no, it's not. It actually... Designer guy. It's one, of the, it's one of the herbs that actually has got some really good, you know, applications, but... You know, that's pretty much it. I mean, uh, you know, uh, I'd say sunlight therapy or infrared therapy, salt palmetto, of course, minoxidil seems to work. 
Then you can go the pres- prescription route, uh, finasteride, dutasteride. Although I don't recommend those because the side effects on those can be <laughs> can be really can be really nasty. I well, know that's, bo- that's kind of where I after a while I was like, it's just not worth it for me to take a bunch of other chemicals to just not let my hair loss. Like I at that point I'm like I'm not that attached to it. Like I would like to have a full head of hair. Mm-hmm. Like that's but when you're tall. Yes. Nobody sees it. Anyway. Yes. <laughs> You know? Do you lose it? Is it true, is it yeah. even or is it just in the back? Stay or, tall, man. Because I never see your head. You always have a hat on. Yeah, it's just the just the back is is thin where it's thin. Like, uh, well, you know, I notice I notice the front too. Like, I mean, I not, like when you spray paint it. I think that. That's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's my favorite. Oh, God. No, you can't. Like, literally, like, it looks good. That, that's the that's the best thing right there. Yeah. What, is, what I, is that? I, I want to get sponsored by that. Co- I don't remember the name of the company that does you that. You can't even like. You can't even tell, dude. <laughs> Unless it, you're like really high. It up sprays in the air. like it, it sprays like little uh, like. Right. Little, or are you sweating it like yeah, goes down? Like little no, hairs or something. hands down the best thing for somebody who. Well, you have to be. A, you have to be at the same place I am. Like if you have like you a, have to have some hair. Yeah, you have to have a little bit yeah. of hair, right? And you don't have that much because my I have a buddy who's like his his bald spot is the size more than a more than a softball, and it works on his head. Like if you no hair on it, and none, he sprays it on just little bits, like real, real, and it works really really well. So like for photos, like he did for his wedding and shit. And it like just that. washes out or what? Yeah, well, yeah, it washes right out. So what happens if you've got that on your head and, and you, you sweat? No, you're over someone's house and you like put your head back on their couch. <laughs> is it going to show up on their couch and shit? Yeah, if you, I mean, well, yeah, you, it, it would make a mess. Like it's, it doesn't like, um, I mean, it, it adheres to the, 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 the hair follicles that are on there, is that right? What it is? Yeah, but it, but it, you could definitely, like, if I had like a white shirt on and I like rubbed it, it you would see like, like this kind of like charcoaly look to it. Mm. But it's not, it, it, <laughs> you, it's crazy. Like you could be sitting right next to, right next to somebody, and you can't tell. Like you cannot tell. Like no, that's how you can't. So no, I'm surprised no. Justin oh, called yeah. the other. <laughs> <laughs> it's for all the fat jokes. Me, me, exactly. I'm, just, <laughs> yes. I'm bringing them back. I'm, I'm a little salty when oh. I'm like low carbs. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's that's the brand right topic? there. Topic. Yeah. Topic. topic. Yeah, yeah. We're not even sponsored by them. Yeah, I know. But that we shit should be good. though. Uh, well, that was the idea. Justin was to get sponsored uh, uh, before uh, we well, railroaded me like yeah. that. Now we're now we'll see, man. We'll put it out there in the yeah. world. I mean, I haven't used it in a long time, but I I do keep it's in. My, I do have it in my. Uh, They're fibers, building fibers. I have them. I have it in my bathroom for the times that we do go do like a like. I have used it for a wedding. There's been a wedding that I've used it uh, at recently in the last year or so, but uh, I haven't used it in a long time. But I do. Fuck. I was so. I remember my buddy first sent it over to me, who was like, who's really bald, and he showed us this. Like he literally showed the video of him doing it. And it was like it was. It's like like watching magic. It's like watching David Blaine. You know? Just make, <laughs> make money turn in or make coffee turn into money. It was like the yeah. same thing. It's like whoa, yeah, dude. What the fuck? And then I thought, well, that's because it's on his iPhone. It's kind of blurry or whatever. Like Wait till I see him in person. I mean, I could be standing three inches from his back of his head and not tell. So yeah. it fucking it definitely for I I it's recommend it if you're illusion. somebody who's like you know thinning hair and you're fucking I what I would never do is this like I would never, if I was a single guy. I wouldn't rock this stuff and go out on dates and like pretend like surprise I surprise the girl. Yeah, yeah, like you know what I'm yeah. saying. Why like, they do that shit to us all the time? That's like true. Why? Yeah, but I'm not. A, I'm not. Fu- I'm hair not a fan of that. I mean, hair extensions. They fucking uh, the, the, big the, ass the nails. Spanks. Yeah. Right. You know everything's tucked in like if a sausage. If you're doing oh, yeah. like a if you're doing like a photo shoot or you're doing something like that where you're on camera or shooting a video or you're on a wedding day, I could see doing that for photos. Wow, the guy's for... name is even Adam in the commercial. Hey. <laughs> it says slide to see Adam's Speaking transformation. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, but look at that. See how thin that guy is. I mean, I'm telling you, it works that good. Uh, It's not. It's. I mean, and here, what is it like? What is it? Twenty bucks, Doug, or something like that? It's so cheap. Yeah, it. Yeah, thirty bucks. Come on, and you get a little. little. We're selling it way too hard. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Next question, please. Next question is from Antlers. What is your stance on fat burners when used with a proper diet and frequent exercise during a cut? Do you think they can be helpful, harmful, or useless? So Useless. this, yeah, this question had to do more with like ephedra and, uh, you know, those, th- Yohimbi and those types of fat burners. You know, here's the thing with those things. Studies will show that they do accelerate, uh, fat mobilization and fat loss. But when you use them in the real world, the only benefit I could ever see is short term. And I could, and the only way I could see it benefiting is appetite suppression. Mm-hmm. Other than that, especially if you're natural, here's what I notice. As a natural, as a guy who lifts weights naturally, when I've taken things like ephedra or Yohimbi to help me with fat loss, 
yes, I do notice that my appetite's suppressed, but I also feel like my cortisol's through the roof and whatever weight I lose, it ends up being kind of muscle and fat. It's not like I just lose body fat. I don't notice. It's like I feel worse as a result. And then when I go off of them, I just that's end up I feeling feel. shitty. Yeah. You guys feel the same way? No, that's, mm-hmm. exa- that's exactly how mm-hmm. I feel. I think it's, I mean, I think for the average person, like you said, maybe in a controlled, controlled study where everything is perfect, like the perfect environment, then I could totally get it. But I think uh, for the most part, I, it's too hard to tell like if it's really doing much help. The things that I, if I use anything like that to accelerate fat loss or to help me, it's because I'm in a calorie deficit and I find that I don't have the the energy to go to the train. Yeah, so it's either caffeine. caffeine. So caffeine is, a, is using a stimulant. So for yeah. me, like if I'm if I'm messing with anything like that at all, like that's the only thing I'm using because you know because that's normal. Yeah. You're, you're you're if I'm in a four or five day calorie restriction by day four or five, like sometimes it's hard to get up and like get get after that workout. And so caffeine well, for me the, does. Yeah, work. and ephedra is overwhelming. You know, it's just it's too much. To where like caffeine used that is like years. yeah, caffeine at least it helps it helps you keep kind of going through when you are in a deficit and you feel like you just don't quite have as much energy. I mean that's the benefit to mm-hmm. it. Like I mean, haven't they even found like uh, most things that they attribute towards um, the the stuff that's actually working in these compounds? It's just like caffeine every time. Well, no, I, I, if you if we, if they did a controlled study where they controlled for calories and activity. I bet you they'd find no benefit because I think the fat loss that because people do experience weight loss when they go on strong fat burners, but I don't think it's the I don't think it's the 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 compound no, that's burning it's, more it's, body fat. It's, it's because you're moving more because you're hyper. Yes, and you're not eating as much. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then also it too, all adds up. So I here's what I would recommend to anybody who's either using one or considered using one is to. To, to run a six weeks of trying to reduce, reduce body fat with and without it and compare the two. Because what I, ends up happening, and this is where I, where I see like supplements work the most, this is in my opinion, right, is when people go, and this is how I used to think as a you know teenager and in my early 20s, is I just spent 200 something dollars on supplements this month. Like it makes the rest of everything else consistent because I'm yeah. taking it. Mm-hmm. It's just a motivator. Right. It's a motivator for me to be better because I'm like, oh, I'm taking this supplement. I want it to work. I want right. to see mm-hmm. results. And so I also should follow my diet and I should also train and hard. It's something you're doing you yeah. know, in the process. Whereas right. Whereas like a lot of times people, uh, I, I get, they like need something. Like they need like this, this ritual, this process. They can't like drum that up in the workout themselves. Like, so for a lot of times that kind of helps them mentally. I have this substance and now I'm doing it. it like it's the catalyst to this. Whole no, process. I, this is, and I remember when we first started mind pump, like th- this is kind of like the stance that I took on it, especially when I was in competing. Cause I did have a lot of ritualistic type of supplements and shakes and things that I did, uh, during that time. And it really was for that exact reason. So for the majority though, I tell people like, okay, if you have the money to just throw, like if you've got that kind of money where you can just say, Hey, I've spent two, $300 a month and it helps me be consistent. And I'm taking something that may help a little bit, then by all means, like, if, but if I wish someone would have told me when I was, you know, 19 years old, trying to build muscle, you know, and only making $7 an hour, you know, and told me that I didn't need to spend 150 to $200 on supplements a month and it wasn't really doing much of anything. In fact, I should probably use that and put it somewhere else, maybe going to get quality food or be consistent with something like that versus, you know, taking all these pills. Yeah. But I mean, if you're a grown ass man or woman, you got, you got a great paying job, you can afford to throw money at these different supplements and they're all, they're proven to be safe and they're, they're healthy or they're an herb or whatever. It's like, well, okay. Yeah. You know, well, whatever. that's the thing with these fat burners. They're not, they're the, of all the supplements you can buy online, they're the least safe yeah. of all of them. Literally. Well, can we list off like what's I mean, hot the, right now? The old school ones, like are, I always list off the ones from 24 hour fitness, like yeah. the lipotropics and the pyruvate. Well, it's still, it's still the same shit. It's yeah. still, it's still caffeine and versions of caffeine. Theo, theobromine, which is a chemical from chocolate that is similar to caffeine. You have siniferin. You ha- which is from bitter orange extract. You have ephedra or ma huang, which is the the not my wing it's ma my huang, yeah. which is a Chinese herb. Um, of course, caffeine. They'll throw in white willow bark or ca- or aspirin into that mix to to prolong the length of uh, of how active they are in the body. Hmm. Yohimbi is another one. All of these are central nervous system stimulants. All of them help in the sense that they may make you lose your appetite and they may hype you up. But here's the thing. Your body adapts pretty damn quickly. Yeah. 
If I gave somebody ephedra and caffeine on a daily basis, by day four or five, that same dose would start to lose its effect. And by week one and a half or week two, you wouldn't really feel much. And then what would happen is you would need to take it to feel normal. Because what happens with your body is your body has a baseline. So, so imagine this baseline energy level that your body has. And it tries to maintain that baseline. And what really truly affects your baseline energy level are the important things. Activity, diet, and sleep are the three biggest things. And that will affect your baseline. That's the main one. And, and, and that's pretty much it. Now, I can hack that by taking chemicals and compounds and herbs that hack that system and push my baseline up. But my body will aim to bring that baseline back down to normal. And the way it figures out to do this is if I'm still taking these substances, my body will then just lower my baseline. It's down regulating. It'll it'll bring my baseline down to where it, to below where it normally is. So now when I'm taking these substances, I'm back at my normal baseline. Now that's going to be a shitty situation when you stop taking those those supplements. Yeah. When I stop taking the ephedra four weeks later or three weeks later, now my baseline is lower Try than it was before. Yeah, yeah, that's why people have... Luck. Look, if you've ever tried to quit drinking coffee or caffeine and you know how shitty it feels for a good three to seven days, yeah. multiply that times five and that's what it feels like when you go off of other fat burners. Because caffeine, the withdrawal sucks. Don't get me wrong. Going off caffeine, you feel lethargic, tired. You might get migraines. You might feel uh, depressed even. Go off ephedra and you'll feel even worse. It's a shitty feeling. I had a friend who lost 60 pounds taking the uh, ephedra caffeine aspirin stack, which was the old school ECA stack from back in the day. Uh He lost 60 pounds. He was taking it like crazy three times a day, killed his appetite, wasn't eating much, working out like crazy. Went off those pills, so he lost all that weight in I don't know how many months. Went off all of them because he was getting heart palpitations and stuff, which some of the other side effects from these fat burners are pretty bad. Good Lord. Gained all the fucking weight back and had a slower metabolism now to boot. So these aren't things that I, you know, they're not answers to really anything. I think ephedra can be fun to take sometimes. That's pretty much it. Like if every once in a while you take it once Every other week, because you want to get hyped up for a workout or not you're going sleep, out to, you know, for a few days, yeah, look, or whatever. <laughs> look at Doug just pulled up. This is the top, the top five fat burners. I think this is a big ad. Uh, I don't think this is a real list. Oh no, yeah. yes, it is. It's not. It's not just by that company. Well, look it at, says buy now. Look at all the look. Look at all the rest of them. Go Scroll to, down more. Yeah, I don't know. What's see? Here's I the. Mean, those are all four different companies right there. Yeah, look at the ingredients of the fat burners, and I guarantee it's a combination of the ones that I I kind of mentioned. Well, I, nothing new. Nothing has come out that is nothing's ever come out that to to be like this. Even clenbuterol, which is an illegal substance that bodybuilders, physique competitors, and bikini pet competitors will use, even clenbuterol is only really effective for about a week or two, hmm. and then after that, the body adapts, and then you it stops working. And on top of it, here's the other here's the other thing I want people to keep in mind: the biggest proponents of fat burners are people on anabolic steroids, and the reason being is here's the deal. When you go on these really powerful central nervous system stimulants, you are stimulating a stress response in the body, which is hallmarked by elevated levels of cortisol and depressed level levels of other anabolic type hormones. Now, if you're natural, that's terrible. You're going to lose muscle. You're going to feel like shit. And the weight you lose is going to be is not going to be all body fat. But if you're on anabolic steroids, you can get away with taking something that puts you in a state of stress. Mm-hmm. This is the same reason why... You know, guys on lots of gear can get away with not sleeping that much or, you know, taking all these stimulants or whatever because they've got these high levels of testosterone all the time. Whereas the average natural person, like my testosterone is going to fluctuate based on what I'm doing. But if I'm injecting myself with testosterone, I can stimulate the fuck out of my central nervous system with all these crazy stimulants. And I'm not worried about elevated cortisol levels like I would be if I was natural. Right. And that's the thing. Like everybody I know who's natural has ever taken hardcore fat burners a lot, a lot, a lot. They end up just losing a lot of muscle, and then when they go off of them, they gain everything back. So um, it's the one category of supplements that I'd say complete waste, almost complete waste, like avoid them completely. Doesn't it's, do it's unfortunate because it's probably one of the top top sellers when you look at- Of course. Yeah, you look at the ones that sell them. And you the feel most. them. That's the thing. You feel them when you take them. If, right. I give you a, like if I give you old school Xenadrin or old school Hydroxycut, yeah. you know, <laughs> which, which contained ephedra, yeah. for sure you're going to feel that shit. If I give that to you every day for five or six days- 
for sure you're going to lose some, some weight on the scale. So, yeah, see, look, siniferin is, is one of the top ingredients. You know, but some of the other stuff, theobromine, there's the one, the other one that I told you about. Green tea, they we put that. Will, white willow bark. White willow green. bark. There's the, there's the aspirin. Yeah. Caffeine. That's exactly, the, those are exactly the things I told you that they put them. They're all a combination or a mixture of all those things. And sometimes what they'll do is rather than put the herb name, like siniferin, they'll put the molecular, the, like the, the chemical name. So it looks like this long, complicated, like, oh, it's this new compound that they discovered. Wow, it's real science like, Well, no, that's it ca- work. It's caffeine. <laughs> that's all it is. It's just caffeine. Next question is Pravaron. As a personal trainer, I spend at least an hour a day with my clients, and over time, we create a bond. Where is the line between it being professional and a real friendship? Is it unprofessional to consider them as friends? They this, shouldn't be sleeping in your bed. Yeah, yeah, don't bang them. Yeah, no, that's that's a that's a that's, given. That's a wrong move. You know, this is a good question. Or marry them if you do. When I first read this, I thought, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Justin did yeah, that. Sorry, he had to. He yeah. crossed the line. <laughs> like, oh man! Like, sure, well, have sex anywhere, with anywhere for me, now. that's a no go, dude. Right there, <laughs> and saying, uh, you don't bang your clients, or you fucking marry them. That's <laughs> the deal. <laughs> You know, after Those I, are the rules. That's how committed Justin is yeah, right there. You that's know? His job. Yeah, I'm very professional. When I read this, I, at first I thought, well, that's not that big of a deal. I always become friends with my clients. And then I really thought about it. And I thought, okay, how often did I actually go out and hang out with my clients or go over their houses and have dinners and stuff? Yeah. And, and remember, keep in mind, I trained a lot of people for over 10 years consistently. So these are people who we became very close with in our sessions because I'd see these people – two days a week for an hour for, you know, for 10 years. So we're going to get very close. And and I thought about it and you know what? I didn't do it that often. Yeah. I didn't go out at all. Mm-hmm. I, I can, I can actually count on one hand how often I would do that. And it's because I think I instinctually knew because it makes it weird. Like it blurs it. Yeah. Sure. Because I'm charging this person a hundred dollars well, an hour and a, then they become my good friend. And then it's kind of weird. And, I mean, if, are you about your business? I mean, if you're about your business, okay, here's the deal. Like, when and this is and this is what, how I used to teach my clients not to fuck their clients, right? Because that's very, very common, by the way. Like seventy percent of trainers like end up sleeping with their their female clients. So it's it's crazy, uh, crazy, crazy it's common. It's a crazy, shitty statistic. It yeah. is. It's you know how many, how many guys are trainers? Their girlfriends are listening right now. Like, yeah. what? Yeah, freaked out right now. Well, it's a true stat. Bartending so, and uh, probably has the same stats. Right. No, it's crazy. And what's funny is that those tra- those trainers that do that are never the top dogs. They're never the best of the best. Maybe you're good. You know, but I guarantee if you didn't sleep with That's them, true. you'd be better. Oh, the reputation, it's going to carry with you regardless right. of what you think. Right. And not only just your reputation, but then also the, the, these clients. That, and I, I'm talking about sleeping with, but it still it still counts with this crossing the boundary thing. Because like you're saying, Sal, and it's, and it's very similar to the, you know, once you cross the professional boundary and now we're friends or we're sleeping together, like now the whole money thing changes. Where if you can always keep a, a boundary there. It's funny how many people will continue just to resign with you because of the simple fact that you've kept that boundary there. Mm-hmm. I, I'm very, very aware that there was many clients that I trained them, I changed their bodies, I changed their lives, I taught them everything I needed to know, but yet they still paid me years later because deep down they were hoping that more would come of the relationship. And so I think that it would it would be smart for you not to encourage like you or trainers to have any relationship outside of the, the the business. Now, maybe you train a client, you guys were really tight, they finished their contract, months go by, you become friends and there's no there's no business going on between the two of you. Like who am I to tell you who your friends should and should be? If yeah. for all I know you could be you could end up meeting your best friend for the rest of your life, you know, and they ended up being a client of yours at one point. That's it, totally understandable. It's just weird. It's it becomes a strange imagine imagine training someone for four years okay and then you start hanging out outside of the sessions now you guys become friends your families get to know each other you know their kids you're like becoming good friends they're it's gonna be weird asking them for money for a package of of training it's gonna feel kind of strange and look maybe you do get a really good friend out of it in which case it might be worth it Mm -hmm. but you know for me personally like I said, I can count on one hand the amount of the the, the number of clients. Don't try and manage both. Like that's, that's it. I think yeah. that's the advice. Is like if you find someone you hit it off with, they become friends. Like by all means, become friends, but then don't expect to do business with them. Right. Yeah. If they're a real friend, you probably wouldn't do business with them. Yeah. So don't. Uh, and don't, you do get very close with people during your sessions. I mean, like I said, if training for people, training people for ten years. 
Oh, you know, yeah. two sessions a week, you get close in the session. That's where you leave it, you know, and I've just learned to do that because it, it does, it blurs the lines. And like, uh, there's probably a, a handful of times where I've actually like, because like I have kids, you know, and I'm in a different stage in life and like my clients have kids, they'll interact and, you know, we'll go to an event where, you know, I know they're there, we're there, we're all hanging out, but it's very infrequent. And that was the thing that I, I wanted to just make sure. Yeah. Like they knew me for coming to their house and like training and everything is completely separate with that. But I used to have actually this lady that worked with me, she was a nutritionist and um, she was training underneath me to become a trainer. And so I, I offloaded a couple of clients, you know, with her and I just immediately saw like red flags all over the place because she was way too involved with their personal life and would yeah. hang out, would take them to lunch, would do this. And it, it turned into this thing where she actually conspired against me, took the clients away from me mm. because thought, thinking that like her, you know, scarcity mindset, like, oh, I need these clients and like we're good buddies now and all this stuff and turned them against me. Inevitably, they came back to me a couple months later, you know, like, like clients, they get uncomfortable with it too, you know? Right. So it's just, you just don't cross those lines. It's not worth it. Our next and final question is from Zine Queems. What is your favorite mythical creature and why? <laughs> why, why are we answering I, this? I'm assuming Sal only got three questions up today, uh, and so Justin had the fourth one. Is yeah, that, is I love that? fucking with you guys. It's <laughs> my favorite thing. Let's uh, just talk about nonsense. Uh, yeah, mythical know? creatures. You know, uh, I have one tattooed on my back. It's the, the head of Medusa. <laughs> Medusa's got to be one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah that's a that kind of is a good one. You know why I like Medusa? One of my favorite movies of all time when I was a kid growing up was yes. Clash of the Titans. Clash of the Titans, the original one. You remember remember that one? Yeah, was With, that the one? Did it have the little gold owl? Yeah, Bubo. Yeah, Bubo. Yeah, Bubo. Made that sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sound. yeah, I loved that movie, and in that movie, um, uh, what's it? Perseus. Mm -hmm had to go cut the head off Medusa to use it to defeat the Kraken, which was this big sea monster that was going to come and destroy the city of Joppa. Wow, how do I remember all this shit? Just, this is insane. Yeah. Am I hitting it right, Justin? You are, yeah. Okay, because you're, you're, you're like this with that too. So, uh, because, it's like nerd's corner. Right yeah, now. it is. <laughs> so this, the Kraken was going to come out and it's this big like six-armed monster that was going to destroy the city and Perseus was going to save it. So he goes and has to kill Medusa. And Medusa... If she looks at you, turns you to stone. Yeah. So the way he killed uh, Medusa is he used this shield as a mirror because you could look so at the reflection. So was this um, your, your thought process with your tattoo? Is that just in case you go to prison? Yeah. You, know? uh, like, oh. you turn everybody into stone that yeah. uh, attacks you from behind. <laughs> yeah. Don't hit me. From, don't hit it from the behind. Don't hit me from behind, bro. Or you want him yeah. rock hard. Yeah. One of the two. Oh my God. One of the two. Oh. I, don't I don't know. I don't know. It's one or the other. That's I feel like terrible. Justin was holding all this yeah. stuff in from the weekend oh, right yeah. here. He's just like, okay, these motherfuckers have been throwing jokes. He's low carb, bro. Uh, yeah, he's, yeah. he's low carb. I get feisty, man. I get feisty. Oh, he's angry. Here it yeah. comes, dude. Yeah. Yeah. No, but I like I like Medusa because it's a cool story. She was, uh, I guess she was. Uh, somebody that was super into her looks, and I think the gods punished her by making her hideous and giving her snakes for hair. And yeah. but anyway, the reason why it's on my back is the original symbol of Sicily is the uh, it's called the uh, Trinacria, which is the head of Medusa, and then three legs coming out each end. And the Medusa was the goddess of Sicily, given it to us by Greece. So that's why it's one of my favorites. I have some others too, but I'll let you guys go next. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, come on, Adam. I'm going to stay in my lane and say that I don't have a fucking answer for this because I'm, I'm, a... I'm not a fucking nerd. That's why. <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't have, I don't have a mythical creature I've ever even thought about, dude. Dude. You, don't, you can't it's name never, mythical creatures. Not even like no. the, the Leviathan. Or, I don't even you know, know what that biblical is. Biblical creatures. Bro, it could be a monster. On, it doesn't have to be a, a, a from mythology, from Greek mythology. It, I'm telling you right now, I've never even thought about yeah, this. You're for like, like, like merman. For like oh, a yeah, split. Yeah, I, want, I mean, we'll I, trust me, I want to contribute to this nerdy conversation as much as I okay, mean, how about this? If you could be any yeah. monster, what would you be? A monster? Yeah, if you could yeah. be like a like a I fan, am a fucking monster. Oh god! <laughs> god damn it. I, I play so, the game. Yeah, I, I can't play a game that I've never played before, dude. I've never played. Let's talk we'll about mythical Bigfoot. creatures. You know what I mean? Huh? We'll, we'll leave him with Bigfoot. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Justin, go tell me yeah. what I do. You, you, this is your like, question. Like I know you Pegasus. got a fucking great answer. You like, you like Pegasus? I like the pe and, and the reason being, everybody's on to this unicorns and you know nah. mythical. No, dude. Like you want a functional creature. You know, I want to get 
get on top of this thing and, and fly, fly wherever the fuck I want, yeah. you know, and like <laughs> gallop on top of buildings. You know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? Like that would be awesome. Do you remember the movie? Do that or Dragon? Did you, Did you guys ever Dragons? Of course, Dragons got to be the right. Best. The yeah. Dragon, I yeah. ride on top of it, breathe fire, burn villages. You know, oh, actually, wow. I changed my answer. Dra- definitely, definitely dragon. dragon. I'm a dragon guy. Did you guys ever watch the movie Kroll? Did you ever watch that with the where the no, guy you had brought that, that up a long time ago? So in in there they get on these horses that are the fastest horses on earth and they make fire. They're so fucking fast <laughs> and they don't have to run on the ground. They like run off the cliff, but they keep going. Oh, they yeah. leave like a trail of fire. You guys need to watch Kroll. Wow, we need to get high. Is that and watch where? Kroll. Yeah, is that where Back to the Future got that? You know, the, what? the tire tracks. Oh, and but fire. oh, okay. Here's the thing. Uh, what was the movie that just came out where the kids in the in the video games? Great movie, Ready Player One. Yeah. Okay, at the end when they're when they're trying to break down the big force field and get in, and he has the he, the guy pulls out a ninja star, one of his friends. Mm. That's the ninja star from Kroll. So oh. you would have known that had you watched wow. the movie, but you didn't get that you piece gotta, of pop you culture. Be in the know. Oh, yeah, wow. you didn't get that piece of pop culture. Wow, wow. All right, how about this, Adam? Would what you about rather, leprechauns? King Kong. Leprechauns. You want to no. be King Kong? There you go. Ooh. Why? <laughs> we gotta give him more than that. <laughs> why because he's fucking bad. a gorilla or he's an ape big. is already fucking badass just a regular yeah. size so a super size fucking so here's some trivia for you uh, back in the you guys know Godzilla right you guys watch Godzilla of films course. when you were a kid yeah. loved Mothra. did you watch them Mm-mm. oh I loved Godzilla Godzilla films. versus Mothra oh that was a good one Godzilla fights King Kong in so the uh, <clears throat> Japanese directors made a, a a movie of King Kong versus Godzilla and it was supposed, supposed to be oh, this blockbuster the epic Okay, epic, right? There is a there, a little bit of trivia though. They created two endings. Mm. The one that they aired in Japan has Godzilla winning. Mm-hmm. The one that they aired in America had King Kong winning. I did not know this as a kid. I watched it. Is King it be, Kong won. Is it because like, King Kong is, is American? Like, well, yeah, because he goes to New York and is like on the Empire State yeah, Building and yeah. all that. Well, okay. yeah, because he's an American mythical monster. I see. Godzilla is the Japanese one, so they made two endings. Wow. So the audiences would be happy. Smart. Either way. Smart yeah. businessman. So would you rather be a vampire or a werewolf? How about that? <clears throat> vampire. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They have more style. Both you guys? More, more seductive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really? You too? Well, dude, like- You're a werewolf. What the fuck? I mean, as long as I'm not the glittery, you know, vampire kind. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, not the, not the new I'm vampires. I'm more like the Lost Boys one. Yeah. Yeah, that one's pretty cool. Yeah. I think a werewolf's better, don't you? Mm-mm. Dude, I mean, why? You're a hairy you're animal. Teen Wolf. Yeah, you're a hairy yeah. animal. Teen Wolf was good. He was kind of cool. Yeah, that was kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. But you're going to scare the shit out of like anybody. Exactly. You're not going to get uh Exactly, Justin. Get the this poon. is the Sal and Justin you know podcast. Mean? Yeah. I don't just like talking about, about mythical it. creatures. I know. This is like- <laughs> It makes us so uncomfortable. This, 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 is, this is not a lot- fantasy. Of- I'm living reality, <laughs> assholes. <laughs> yeah, it's right. There's not a lot of things that I don't have something to contribute. This is one of them. I don't have a lot if to say. If you could have a mythical pair yeah. of sneakers, what would they be? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, there you stupid. Go. Check it out. We got a bunch of f- free guides available for everybody. They cost zero dollars. Nothing. Free, you say? Zero. Mindpumpfree.com. Also, by the way, if you want to learn more about us as your hosts, you can follow us on Instagram. You can find me at Mind Pump Sal. Uh, you can find Adam at Mind Pump Adam. And you can find Justin at Mind Pump Justin. Bring the more you know. Thank you for listening to Mind Pump. If your goal is to build and shape your body, dramatically improve your health and energy, and maximize your overall performance, check out our discounted RGB Super Bundle at mindpumpmedia.com. The RGB Super Bundle includes MAPS Anabolic, MAPS Performance, and MAPS Aesthetic. Nine months of phased expert exercise programming designed by Sal, Adam, and Justin to systematically transform the way your body looks, feels, and performs. With detailed workout blueprints and over 200 videos, the RGB Super Bundle is like having Sal, Adam, and Justin as your own personal trainers, but at a fraction of the price. The RGB Super Bundle has a full 30-day money-back guarantee, and you can get it now, plus other valuable free resources at mindpumpmedia.com. If you enjoy this show, please share the love by leaving us a five-star rating and review on iTunes and by introducing Mind Pump to your friends and family. We thank you for your support, and until next time, this is Mind Pump.